Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim and the handsome cowboy with me. Hey, guys. Is my son, Matthew, um, at least once a month. And they're, they're going to be seeing more of you. Yeah. You've got to help me with my computer. Yes. I still haven't figured out how to do that Zoom and get other people on so that you and others can be on there with me. Hey, it's technically a challenge, folks, so just bear with us. I'll do that when I get there. Listen, I didn't touch a computer till I was 30 years old, and then that was Lotus. That wasn't even Windows. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, so that's how old you are. Oh, my goodness. See, we... um. So anyway, I think I'm doing pretty good, and God is faithful. <laughs> Amen. So you're the one who set this up for me so yes. that I could do this. Amen. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. So, and I still have to call you sometimes and absolutely. say, what button do I have to push for certain things? <laughs> yes. Okay. So what I want to talk about today for just a few minutes is the fact, as I looked at the news today, and a shout out to Sister Ashley and Brother Jordan and Brother Keegan. As I looked at the news today and the coup that is happening in Niger, that is not Nigeria, by the way, it is next to Nigeria, but Niger, up until like the 1960s, I believe, was a French colony. So that is a country landlocked in West Africa. There is a coup going on. France and like several other European nations are pulling their diplomats and their citizens out of there. This is a, but this is what we're seeing around the world. What you need to know is that, and what the Holy Spirit arrested me, Matt, was that the battle that these battles that we're seeing raging on mm -hmm. is indicative of the spiritual of the battle mm. going on in the heavenly realms really? and it's like when i was reading that and praying for you know i pray for the people i pray for the people in the ukraine and in russia it is not what it appears to be the world is a stage yes and they're they're setting the stage you you can't trust all the news and so one of the things about this channel that we bring is what is going on in the geopolitical that ties to the prophetic. And I'm telling you, the satanic coup is going on right now. Why do I say that? Why is it so violent? Why are many of you, for the first time in your lives, many of you who have never been depressed, reporting that you're depressed, right? Yeah. Why are many of you going through battles that you feel like I've gone through battles before. We know the Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous Psalm 3419, but the Lord delivers him. That means him or her from them all. It's because Satan knows by high treason, when Adam sinned, Adam and Eve, they were supposed to rule and reign Satan by high treason took that realm. So he's the prince of the air, the principalities. You know, the Jews know this. Even the apostle Paul said in the Bible, I know a man who was caught up into the third heaven. That is the abode of God. The second heaven would be that place where Satan and his minions, the principalities, the demonic forces, right? The Bible says we born again believers are seated in Christ, in the heavenlies. That's in the third heaven, far above all power, dominion, rule, and might. Amen. That's where we are, right? Positionally. We know performance-wise we're still here, and we're not perfect in performance. Oh, absolutely. Aren't no, you I'm... thankful for the blood of Amen, Jesus? Amen, yes. And if you don't know what we're talking about, being born again, I have a video, faith plus nothing equals salvation and eternal security. I implore you, watch it. If you believe the gospel that the Apostle Paul outlined in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 to 4, you are born again. You are indwelt with Holy Spirit. You are saved, sealed, and sanctified until the day of redemption, amen. heaven bound, and rapture ready. John 3, 16 sums it up so well. Oh, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm a whosoever. Are you a whosoever? Amen. So, Matt, this, and you know this because you've grown up knowing this. We are at the end of the 6,000-year period. Oh, absolutely. The rapture of the church is, is a promised guarantee Amen. 
a covenant from the word of God, and God does not break his covenants. Wow. And so as we see these things from the Bible, this is why it's so important that we boldly share the gospel and we continue to bring the news that, that you know the truth, what's going on. And so this battle is raging on because Satan knows his time is short yeah, yeah. and it's playing out in the physical realm. This is why the Bible says we'll see birth pains, wars, and rumors of wars. So I want to go into a little bit and then we'll talk about some housekeeping items and anything you want to share. Okay. Um, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rules out a civil war. But brothers and sisters, these protest crisis over the judicial reform that I've been reporting on is very serious. The Ukraine says a second armed rebellion in Russia is not far off. Again, that is not all it appears to be. I'm going to tell you when you see the Biden administration coming behind anyone, red flags should be going up. There's much more to that, which I cannot do here, but I'm praying about. There's a few videos I'm going to oh, do. So, uh, I, I promised Susie, uh, you know, wonderful sister in Christ in California from San Marcos. Oh, okay. When we went to church yeah, there. Yeah. About. So um, about evangelism and there's some other videos that I'm working on to get out to you guys. There's an analysis buildup of American forces in Persian Gulf is a new signal of worsening U.S.-Iran conflict. Listen, Iran not only, this is ancient Persia, not only hates Israel, Iran and her proxies, Hamas, Hezbollah, but hates the United States of America. And that threat is there. I'm going to tell you something. When Jesus said, watch the fig tree, the fig tree is Israel. Oh, absolutely. And then he said, watch the other trees, their nations of prophecy. Uh, the United States of America, the only place, and, and most theologians agree with me, where we might see America playing a role is when it talks about Ezekiel's war, when those nations are going to come down, which they're all there. Their armies are in Syria now. And Putin has threatened to do that. I believe they're going to come for the spoils of war. When it says the lion and her young cubs. Why? Well, I, I believe that the lion is the UK. And I believe that the young cubs are like the United States of America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. I, I, I do believe that. But that's not a thus saith the Lord. That's our biblical studies. Mm -hmm. Myself, along with many scholars, biblical scholars, believe that. So I can't say that America is nowhere there. No, yeah. But we're not one of the major players no. in biblical prophecy. It's not all about the United States no, of America. Not. We need to we need to pray and be bold, and for a, for an awakening to God and a harvest. Well, France has begun the evacuation of its diplomatic staff, and French and European citizens. I talked about this are leaving Niger, brothers and sisters. We're we're going to keep watching that. That is something, and it, because what's interesting, what most won't know, this is really interesting. Several years ago, Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, along with other European leaders like Angela Merkel, who was then the chancellor of Germany. Now, she's not the chancellor now, but she is in with the globalists, as is Barack Obama mm. and Bill Gates and Klaus Schwab and George Soros and many of them. While they are, many of them, now, some of them are, are not, we're not political leaders, but you know they're involved. They're not involved, but they are involved in the back scenes of the rising of the NWO, which the Bible talks about the one world system and the yep. one world religion. And many of these nations that are doing this, you're seeing them work together in alliance. They formed a 10 nation army. And in Daniel, and Daniel, it talks about the revived Roman Empire. What was that old Roman Empire? And then Revelation, right? It talks about being divided into 10 mm. basic areas. Do you know they have a 10-nation army? It is already established. It's like the digital global currency that every nation already has a plan 
to an act. You're going to see it come. Oh, absolutely. It's coming. Yeah. Well, it's it, coming it's, sooner than later. You know my little bank. Oh, yeah. At Little Community Bank. Yeah. I was like, Ugh, when I saw, and this was a couple weeks ago, and they still have it, digital wallets now available. Oh, yeah. That's a small community. No, I know. Yeah. It's, it's, so we're seeing it. Then, now this is Costa Coffee Chain in the UK draws outrage after advertisement featuring a transgender man with scars from elective double mastectomy. And you know, for years, I'm like, I, I don't understand what they're labeling these yeah, folks. Yeah, no, I don't and either I, anymore. It, is it a dude dressed like... But I got, I got one thing now. When, when they say, when you see in the news, trans woman, that means it's the opposite of a woman. That means it is actually a man, man being a woman. who identifies as a woman. Yeah. Okay? So if you see trans, that's how you can tell. So when it says a trans man, that's a woman, and an to be that's a a woman who identifies as a man. So that's why it would be a double mastectomy. Yep. Well, people outrage. You know, it, it comes down to this. While the pulpits in many places are quiet. Oh, and yeah. and I want to say this. We do not endorse bullying. No. I think what that police officer said, I put this in my report the other day, when you got stopped for uh, speeding. Yeah, I was speeding a little bit and got pulled over the other day. Thankfully, he actually brought up the rapture and everything you were able to witness. Well, because I was talking him. to him about Jesus. Yep, yeah. And uh, it was a smooth interaction. It was the best interaction I've had with a cop. I just sat back. And got my ticket. I still got a ticket. I was <laughs> guilty, but uh, and you admitted that. Yep. And but it was an amazing experience. I loved that. I, we prayed for that officer. Yes. When we left and blessed him, um, and really had a great conversation with him. He was polite. I mean, he was he was two miles away from I, twenty miles over. Yeah, which can be very serious. Yes. But um. And I had told him, slow down. I'm just saying. Yeah, whatever. And so, um, but the point was, that officer said, we were talking. We were talking for a little while. He oh, was yeah. really, I mean, he was really, you, you know, I, I told Matt, we don't make any, before they, you don't make any moves because no, those officers are approaching absolutely. your car. And they don't know if you're armed, if you're violent, if you're um, whatever, and once they know, they're more comfortable too. But he oh, really cool. was very polite, doing his job. Oh, yeah. But it was so great to meet a brother in Christ. Oh, absolutely. Who is excited about the rapture. Amen. And he made a statement, and I don't want to misquote him, but something to the, to the effect of, like with these agendas. And he said, listen, you, you, I, I believe in your right. You go live how you want to live, but don't you try to force them yes, on me. Yes, absolutely. And... But I want to say, God loves all those people, folks. We, I, I would, I would love to see, and I believe the Lord gave me a vision a few months ago. Remember where I saw many coming out of mm -hmm. lifestyles and God restoring them. You, g listen, with our God, all things are possible. He can do it in a moment. So if you're worried about your children or grandchildren or relatives or friends, Please believe me. We pray and believe God is bringing them out. They're coming out of that. When you read Romans 1, it talks about because they worship the created thing over the creator, because they traded the glory of the known God, our God, he gave them over to reprobate or debased or depraved minds. And so... Men were given over to that. I'm telling you, right when they dedicated Solomon's temple, the this is an area where we see they were in unity because the Bible says they were like one voice. The priest would lead the people and hallelujah, hallelujah, kitov, ki leolam hasto. We translate that, praise the Lord, for the Lord is good and his mercies endureth forever. And the glory of the Lord filled the temple. And God is merciful. And while we will not call evil good and good evil, we love the people. And, and our heart should be to see all saved and born again Amen. and heaven bound and rapture ready. We never endorse bullying, but we will not shy away from the truth. 
And the sad fact is that we need to stand up while our children are being indoctrinated. Children at the earliest ages in daycares now are being taught that lies are truth. And we need to battle that in prayer, in teaching our children, and in saying, no, you don't indoctrinate our children with these deviant things. We don't do that. And we love the people. And, and I love what that officer said. He said, but not on my watch. We're not going to have that. And so he was a really godly man. So you know what, brothers and sisters, it comes down to this. 1 Corinthians 13, 8 says, love never fails. I'm going to tell you what, never is translated, never. It always works. Amen. And if we will be renewed in our minds and washed in the purity of the truth of God's word, praise God. And love Love never fails. Well, we need to get going. We have some things to do, but I want you to know that God loves you fiercely and passionately. Amen. I love you too. Matt, thanks for joining me. Oh, and absolutely. He's Thank been working guys. hard today, helping me out with some things. And uh, uh, Hold up. Uh, there will be an update. There was an update on his community wall about your fundraisers for your trips. I will be posting that on my Facebook too, because I know a lot of you guys follow me. I will be posting the update, and we updated the goal as well, didn't we? Yeah, because much giving came in from yeah, other means. Yeah, so we really appreciate you guys. What a blessing you guys have been sowing into this ministry. Uh, we're looking forward to the trips, and hopefully by next year, we're scheduling a lot of meet and greets with people. Meet and greets and a conference. Af absolutely. So, again, I will be posting that. I just want to take a moment to say thank you guys so much. Your prayers, your donations, just you even uh, being there for us it's much appreciated and we can't do it without you guys so we just love you guys and appreciate you yeah i'm glad you said that because when when we're adjusting it it's i'll be adjusting it again oh absolutely another nice donation came in so through another mean we so it's this is meant just to pay the cost not for anything no, else absolutely. so that's why you're seeing it adjusted also like and subscribe yes, and share the video and share the videos that helps we get the word out there and if you have not followed me on Facebook you'll find me go find me but I'm gonna say something I will put a link to my to Matt's Facebook God has done a mighty work in this mighty man Amen. of valor in this mighty man of God you have always been transparent with your mistakes and your yep. things but I'm gonna tell you something Matt those posts you are making encourage me so go follow Matt's Facebook. I'm telling you, some of you can testify. They are phenomenal posts. Oh, they are, I'm you. telling you. The other day, he was sharing things from the Word that I'm like, my son is really in the Word of God. Amen. And it blesses me. So I am well pleased, Matt, with, with your life right now, how you are following the Lord. And, um, and I want to say this to everybody real quickly. It doesn't matter what your past is. It doesn't matter what people call you the names. It matters what God has spoken over you. Amen. And if you are born again, you are a child of God, an heir of God, a co-heir. That means equal heir with Christ Jesus. Well, that's it. God bless you guys. Shalom, shalom. And have an awesome rest of your day. I love you guys. Bye-bye.